yeah good good afternoon friends uh today i'll be presenting on the impact of economic factors on financial crisis a historical analysis using global finance data uh you can see the side problem statement uh, uh, uh by the study throughout study financial crisis have left uh, significant scares on economics uh spewing restrictions uh, scaring employment and uh, loss of savings uh, our focus today is to unravel the relationship between economic indicators and the historical occurrence of these cities. Uh, if we can record with the uh, economic factors potentially lead to or uh, amplify uh, crisis, we can then better prevent or reduce their effects. Uh, in this uh, in this slide, uh, you can use methods uh, to distinct the issue we employed three primary methodologies uh, logistic regression cluster analysis decision trees uh, in logistic regressions uh, our first hypothesis wanted to discuss the role of uh, cdp uh, growth in predicting financial crisis uh, a point to scatter plot is something uh, as you can see here the x-axis uh, uh, represents the gdp growth rate while the y-axis indicates the occurrence of financial crisis uh, in cluster analysis uh, uh, this was used to segment countries uh, based on inflation rates uh, the goal to discuss if countries with similar inflationary patterns had a shared uh, with, with, to crisis a uh, point to the Dendogram uh, cluster map. The, this visualization provides an overview of how countries are uh, grouped based on their inflation rates. Uh, next is decision trees. Uh, in decision trees, uh, uh, lastly, we use decision trees to anticipate the severity of the financial crisis uh, based on the official policies, especially specifically uh, revolving around debate on uh, defects. A uh, point to the decision tree is the tree that branches based on different official indicators. And we are going to next slide is the uh, key findings. Key findings means uh, our research added some insightful findings. GDP growth. Uh, GDP growth means uh, uh, surprisingly or per perhaps not economics with higher GDP growth rates uh, were less uh, prone to uh, crisis. Uh, essentially, the robust uh, economic growth appears to shield uh, uh, economics from uh, financial documents. Uh, but inflation inflation means here we discovered that high inflation rates particularly in certain clusters of countries made them more vulnerable to crisis uh, so while moderate inflation is tolerance unchecked inflation can be flowering sign uh, what is a official process our decision tree analysis uh, revealed that government debates on or defects were profound predictors of the intensity of a financial crisis. In simple terms, uh, nations with towering uh, debit and uh, defects might face more than uh, intense financial storms. We are going to next slide is conclusions. Uh, uh, from our findings, uh, we draw uh, these conclusions. Economic growth, it's more than just a number. Uh, thriving economy is a blower against financial descriptions uh, they should be at the forefront of policy considerations uh, inflation management it's a critical to uh, vigilante monitor and uh, modulate inflation rates uh, uh, this is where adaptive monetary policies uh, come into play and the and fiscal management is uh, uh, well managing fiscal defects and defects is uh, always a staple of good government uh, our research comparisons in uh, paramount uh, importance is uh, spending of uh, like uh, several uh, financial upheavals uh, and just coming to slide six uh, reflection and learning experience means uh, it's while our research and was uh, enlightening it was not without its challenges uh, uh, it is based on non-linear relationships like that of uh, inflation's relations to crisis uh, required a uh, non-enhanced uh, analysis uh, given our vast data bit uh, uh, deciding on the right uh, analytical technique for each hypothesis posed a challenge and uh, ensuring our models uh, especially the decision tree uh, provided accurate predictions without falling prey to or filtering or uh, undifferenting was inspired uh, but through uh, these challenges came our learnings uh, the paramount importance of initial data experience also validation and a deeper uh, appreciation of the interplay between economic indicators and their role as a potential habitus of financial tutorial and finally how data can be formidable tool in uh, sculpting future financial and economic policies uh, thank you for your 